Hi guys, my name is Alexey Lavrenin. Welcome to YouTube channel Senior QA Automation Engineer. Today I want to tell you about if and else conditions in Java. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Ok, let's start. This is a very important part for creating flexible test scenarios. You can add a lot of different rules in your test and don't duplicate your code for each scenario. I create test and G test case, first of all. I create string for my first conditions in test. Put some value inside variable. After that, type if and open curly brackets. And I should put inside some requirement. It should be my string equal to specific word. I do comparison between variable and string. If it's equal, I can do some actions in curly brackets. I do print, it marks that my action is successful or not. If Java prints my message, it means my condition statement is true. If it doesn't print anything, it means my variables are not equal. I can change it my equal to operator to contains. It checks my variable include specific string or not. In this case, it can be part of sentence or text, and my statement would be positive, and Java prints my message. If I put in first variable different meaning, my condition is failed, and it doesn't give me any message. But because I don't put any assertion for this checking, my test is still passed. If I use else condition, I don't need to add any rules in round brackets. It includes actions if my if condition is false. I add my any action in curly brackets. It will be different print. You can see because if statement is false, else statement is true. We can see print from our else statement. I want to create second string and I can show you how I can check two if conditions. Now I have two verifications. First is false and second is positive statements. In this case Java prints only my second message. Ok, let's talk about if two if the statements are positive. In this case, Java prints two messages. Else statement doesn't work in this case, because if conditions are correct. If two if statements are incorrect, Java prints only action from else condition. You can use any action in Java, not only prints. I just give you a simple example. Now I can combine two if conditions and create one condition with two rules. I can use operator OR. If first variable contains first string OR second variable contains second string, in this case it prints one phrase for me. Only one condition from two can be correct. In this case we can activate our action in if condition. If I use operator AND in Java, both conditions should be correct. If not correct, it activates else statement. If your condition is failed, but test is not failed, you can add assertion fail instead of your print actions in else condition. In this case, testng shows bad results and prints error message too. For that, uh, we need to replace south and use a third class and put some specific message inside. 